Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through clustering with the genetic algorithm, guys. Okay, so clustering can also be done using genetic algorithm. So basically, if you recall, we have already discussed the concept of genetic algorithm, guys. So that is the reason why I'm not going to go in depth in genetic algorithm. If you haven't watched it, we have covered it in fourth unit, guys. Okay, so please make sure that you watch that lecture because. according to me that is one of the most interesting concept guys because that will show you exactly how the back end flow is going on in genetic algorithm right i discussed everything in detail so please watch it okay yes so clustering can also be done with the help of genetic algorithm so based on question we take some random population so population is nothing but your input guys i think you watched the video guys yes okay so once we took that population okay so then we check for convergence so basically you'll be checking whether you are satisfied with the result or with the number of clusters or with the number of items in the clusters okay so if you are satisfied you'll stop there if you are not satisfied you will perform a crossing a mutation and all those steps and you get new clusters and new centroids so once you got them again you will check for convergence whether you are satisfied or not so if not redo 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 so you will be doing until you get satisfied guys so once you are satisfied you indirectly solve the problem right the problem of clustering so this concept is nothing but clustering with a genetic algorithm guys so if this question is specifically given in examination please write the theory about crossing mutation and the flow chart also you can draw guys of genetic algorithm because you are indirectly explaining genetic algorithm with the help of clustering that's it okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea right about clustering with genetic algorithm that it is possible and in this way i told you that i gave you an overview right yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea so in the next lecture we will be discussing about the clustering large databases so in that we are having db scan algorithm so which we have already discussed in data mining so basically i'll be correcting you back again to that lecture in the if you are watching this in the playlist you will be continuing to this lecture and once it is done we'll be continuing with one more algorithm for large databases that is nothing but cure algorithm that is the full form is a classification of object into groups okay yes so i'll be discussing about this this topic in the next lecture so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching